Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of Expert Alerts, the home edition. That's what we've been doing this whole month of uh, April. Uh, this is our last segment for the month. And we've been talking about um, things about your home, whether it's uh, pest control, uh, financing a home, building a home, buying a home. Well, there comes more with that too. And we're talking about putting uh, you know, appliances in a home, planning the inside of a home, or even just remodeling a home. Well, I brought in uh, Matt Compton from Compton's Appliances. Uh, I've known Matt for many, many years. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, Compton's remodeled a home that I owned. Uh, they remodeled the kitchen of a home that I owned about 18 years ago and did an outstanding job. But uh, Matt, good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Jim. How are you doing? I'm doing great, doing great. Give us a little bit of background about yourself and then okay. uh, about how Compton's got started. Yeah, so uh, my grandfather started it back in the 60s as a service company. And then uh, we took it from service into HVAC. And then uh, back in 2010, uh, the HVAC went their way and me and my dad went our way. And then uh, my dad sort of semi-retired, he's still in the business, but I've been running it for about five or six years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've really grown. We, we, you know, we've stepped out of just appliances now. We do outdoor furniture, we do fire pits. So we really expanded, you know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, because I mean, it, this is the time of the year too, and I'm going to go ahead and make this this, this little plug. But this is because y'all have been on my show, Shop South and Mississippi, yep. several times. But if you're looking for, uh, you know, doing an outdoor kitchen or something like that, they do some. Uh, they have some amazing choices. They can do some amazing work for you. But let, let's talk about um, planning for your kitchen space. I mean, a lot of people are either they're building uh, um, or doing some remodeling, yep. and you know, when, it's really important to plan your space. That's you know, with, with the, you know, when your so your kitchen is laid out correctly with y'all. Yeah. So one of the biggest things with appliances is they're big. They take up a lot of space. You know. So when you are, you know, getting ready to build a house or getting ready to remodel a house, and you're in the planning stage, meeting with designers, meeting with builders, architects, and stuff like that, sort of focus on what your main focus is in a kitchen. And of course, that would be cooking. So you know, when you're cooking. You don't want to be on top of everybody. You know, you don't want to, you know, be bumping elbows. You want to make sure that you have enough room to do what you want to do as far as prep space. But then also refrigeration. You know, um, refrigerators can get all the way up to six foot wide. You know, so wow. Depending on the space that you're working with, you know, of course, you don't want to put oversized appliances just because you saw it on TV and you think it would look great. You need to put what fits your foundation of your house. If you have a 1,500 square foot house put what you know ergonomically lays out in a 1500 square foot house if you've got a 5,000 square foot house well then you can put bigger things in it you know um, so yeah that's the biggest thing with planning just use your space wisely and, and I think one of the things too is, is planning according to your family size I mean that's there's right. only a couple of you that's you right know, why do you want to uh, you know you may want to take some of that space away from what would be the dining room mm -hmm. and make you know you can we can always eat at the bar yeah you know? I mean islands are huge nowadays yeah you know, that's Di dining rooms, unless you're building a big house, they've sort of become obsolete because, mm -hmm. you know, people have figured out that, you know, the best way to sit down and actually have a conversation with somebody is at the dinner table, mm -hmm. you know, because you got their main attention and their focus. So, you know, you put an island in your kitchen and when you have guests over, everybody congregates. When you have friends over, you know, everybody congregates. So it's, it's a nice way to make a smaller house feel more open, too. So. Now, you mentioned one thing um, about, uh, you, you know, you, you see something on TV and say, oh, that looks good. Maybe I could, that would look great yeah. in my house. And maybe not. I yeah. mean, because uh, you know what you see on HGTV yeah. might not be yeah or uh, budgets, you know, or budget yeah, might that's not right. fit with your budget because yeah. you know when you go over there and look at that, it's like, oh well, maybe yeah. you know. But they, like you said, a six foot wide refrigerator. Yeah, you know, unless you're a chef and you're entertaining a lot of people at home or something yep. like that, uh, you probably or your house can fit it too, you know. Yeah. But budgets are a key thing, you know. A lot of people will see something on TV and you know, I mean, everybody wants to dress to impress or, you know, show off nowadays. So, I mean, you know, you see something on TV and you, you don't understand how much it costs. Because on TV, they're there to, you know, as far as the remodel shows and HGTV and stuff like that, they're there to, you know, show something off and try to get you to buy it, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but, you know, when you come into our store, you know, we try to make sure that you understand that not, we're going to sell you a quality piece, but let us show you what within your budget of either your remodel or your build, you can get, you know, that fits that budget and you don't spend all your money on one piece because you saw a stove on TV and you spent your $5,000 budget on one piece. You know, let us show you what you can get for a $5,000 budget that still might accomplish the same goals that that $5,000 oven did. And you have to look at different things. Uh, we were talking before we actually uh, went live about, you know, of course you got your microwave and then you got your cooktop. You may not want your oven right up underneath, That's you right, know, yeah. underneath there. You might want that, you know, you might want two of them. Yep. 
You know, every every time of year, everybody always needs more space, and that's Christmas and Thanksgiving, you know, or holidays in general. Right. Uh, and then usually when you have that many things going on, there's usually people over at your house helping you cook. So, you know, on a range, the widest you're going to get is 60 inches. Well, at the end of the day, if you got three people, 60 inches gets pretty tight. Uh, so, you know, if you can fit it, again, you know, maybe put a 30-inch cooktop and a wall oven in a separate location. Um, and if you can fit a double wall oven, that's always good for the simple fact that, you know, if you have five people, five, let's just say ladies cooking in a kitchen, there, oh won't, be a, there won't be a whole <laughs> lot of fighting because everybody has space to move and, you yeah. know, get around. So that's, you know, that's one of the key points. Now, uh, you were talking about coming in and, and sitting down and talking with people. How important is that consult? going to be whenever they're getting ready to start choosing appliances and uh, you know I guess the uh, I think the, the consults very important yeah you know uh, from the beginning stage before you even maybe meet with that builder or designer or even get the idea of wanting to do the uh, remodel uh, it's important to come sit down with us for the simple fact you know that budget is a key thing you know what size house can you build well you know what well how much money do you have to work with you know mm -hmm. so if you come in pre-planning stage and we can sort of give you lead times tell you how long you'd be looking for those appliances so you know if you're starting a kitchen remodel and you don't want to be without a kitchen for six months because you come in today and you know improperly plan um, we can lay out the details as far as how long it's going to take to get the product, how much the product costs, and that yeah, way that, you may not. They may walk in there and say, "Well, you know, I, I, I saw this, I saw this, and I like this." Well, I don't have it in stock right that's now, right. so it may be a, nobody has it in stock. Nobody, you know, has no matter it in big, stock. big or small. Nowadays, you know, the whole world has changed. You know, everybody. If you've gone looking at vehicles, if you've gone looking for TVs, computers, anything that has any type of electronics in it. Uh, it takes a long time to get it. And mm -hmm. no matter if you're big or small, you know, mom and pop or a big box store, um, you know, you have to properly plan. Now we have, we have a lot of things in stock because we do so much builder business and stuff on the Gulf yeah, Coast. Yeah, you work with a lot of contractors. We work with a lot of here. contractors. People don't realize really how many we work with, but um, you know, uh, so we stock a lot of stuff. But the specialty items that, that people come in, you know, colors, uh, certain brass finishes and things like that, you can't just go get those off the shelf yeah. nowadays. And even you call you, back in the day, you could call a distributor and get it in three, three to four days. Let's say seven business days max. You know, some stuff right now we just got emailed this morning is sixteen to twenty-four months. You know. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's a long time. So if there, if, if you're building a home or about to build a home, or want furniture, you know, I yeah. mean, that's one thing that we've branched off into. Like I mentioned, is furniture. You know. Yeah. Uh, we used to be able to get furniture orders in six weeks. You know, we just got your a, outdoor furniture, the Adirondack. That, and all yeah, that. Adirondack chairs. And, and all boy, that you stuff. talk about built sturdy. Yeah, they, you can't. Let's just put it this way: they, they must have a, a, a wind resistance of about 150 miles an hour. Yeah, because those things are heavy. They're heavy. They're going to last you forever. You'll have. Yeah. You know, it is a big investment. It's not cheap furniture. Uh, but I tell everybody to look at it as a cooler. You can buy a cheap cooler and it lasts you one summer, or you can buy good furniture and it lasts you the rest of your life. Um, but furniture we used to be able to get in six weeks, now it takes six months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, planning is a very key, important role in today's world of and it's, anything. Uh, speaking of planning and everything, uh, it's important to make sure that, um, you know, all the specs and, and cutouts mm -hmm. are, are, you know, are properly uh, communicated with yep. the builder and everything because you don't want to go in there and say, okay, here's the cabinetry, it's all, and then you go in there and try to put the, uh, the appliances in there, it's like, eh, this yeah. ain't going to fit. You know, that's things we stress all the time. If you're already to the, let's say you're past the communication stage and you already have a set of plans done, make sure to bring those plans in when you meet with us because it's a lot easier to, you know, look at plans laid out on a table than, you know, a scanned copy or on your phone, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So that plays a big key role, um, but also specs play a huge role at the end of the game. You know, after you get the house built or the walls put back together and everything, you know, if you didn't proper, properly communicate those specs between, you know, me to the cabinet guy, to the cabinet guy, to the builder, or vice versa, somewhere inside that chain, electrical could be in the wrong spot. So then you got to pay an electrician twice to move a plug. You know, a 30-inch cutout could have been made 36 inches wide because he only got one page of the specs, you know, instead of all the pages of the specs. So specs play a huge role because one thing that we hate, and I'm sure anybody that, you know, is in the yeah. process of building, is you feel like you're almost to the finish line, and then we show up and things aren't right. And the average yeah. consumer don't think about things like that. No, they don't, and they shouldn't. You know, you only buy appliances, you know, if you buy good appliances, you know, every 10 to 15 years of your life, mm -hmm. you know, unless you just build a lot, you know. Um, 
So, I mean, it's out of sight, out of mind. It's not, you know, it's like riding a bike, you know. You, you learn how to ride a bike because you do it repetitively. Right. You don't buy appliances every day, so it's not just like lead <clears> times, just like you, you know. I mean, people wouldn't know that, you know, some stuff takes up to two years to get right now just because of all these dilemmas and stuff. Right, right. So. It might have it looked great, you know, might have seen something on TV, looked like, oh, i love to yeah. have that, and it's like, well, you got to wait a while. Yeah, that's right. A while. A while. Yeah. So uh, now I know that to kind of get away from the kitchen here, but what mm -hmm. uh, utility rooms, of course, you'd have to take things like that in, yep. in mind whenever you're buying washers and dryers. Yeah. And we, we're big on, uh, on stock and laundry too. So a lot of people nowadays, th there's certain items you have to stock in our industry. You know, we try to stock as much refrigeration as we can get our hands on. Mm -hmm. Uh, laundry, um, you know, just because if mama's washer breaks on a Saturday and you got baseball games all weekend and everybody's clothes are dirty, you know, and you got a game on Tuesday, she ain't going to wait three or four weeks to get that washer, you know. No. So we try to make sure that we have washing machines there. Uh, that way you can keep the family going. Uh, everybody needs a refrigerator, you know. You can live without a dishwasher. I mean, washing washing dishes is sort of a thing of the past, but you can live without a dishwasher. Not here. Not in my <laughs> house. I'm single. I, you know, I, I will normally, you know, with me, just me, I do, I'll wash this. I, I use the dishwasher for them to dry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wash them by hand, of course, about once a month. Yeah, I'll run a cycle through yeah. there just to make, yeah. keep it going and everything. Yep. But, um, and you have so many great choices mm -hmm. for people to, choo to uh, choose from as far as picking out items for their, for their kitchen. I mean, yeah. different styles of... Uh, and we have all the big brands, all, know, all I mean, the big you brands. Got, you got little wine refrigerators, yep. things like that. Um, all the specialty uh, stuff, wine yeah. refrigerators, ice makers, you um, know, big stoves, small stoves. Pizza ovens. Pizza ovens. I inside mean, and outside. I was just about to say, you know, we've really expanded our outdoor selection as far as furniture, grills, outdoor fire pits, outdoor fireplaces, a lot of things people have never known Compton's for. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of the reasons that we're going to have our event this weekend. Uh, yeah, talk about that if yeah. you would some. Yeah, we have a big event planned this weekend. It's our customer appreciation, but it's not just a customer appreciation. It's sort of like our kickoff to spring. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have a lot of main uh, main name brands, I guess you could say, coming. Mm -hmm. PK Grills will be there. Tribal Fire Grills will be there. Uh, LaGriddle, Memphis, Weber. Everybody knows Weber yeah. Grills. Uh, we're going to have a lot of grill manufacturers there showcasing their mm -hmm. appliances, you know, because I can show them to you all day long at the, sto at the store. Right. But when you actually get to see, see them work, work yeah, it's yeah. sort of a try before you buy situation, you know. Um, we have some really good sales on our grills, really good sales on our furniture this weekend. Uh, we, like, I, like I mentioned before, mm -hmm. or when we were talking, we just got 108 pieces of furniture in, wow. you know, and we ordered that stuff last August. So, I mean, that's how long it takes to get. Wow. So, you know, if you're in the market for thinking about changing out your pool furniture, it's not like it used to be where you could just come down to our store and pick something up. Uh, but we have a big shipment in, so yeah. you know if you're in that market for pool furniture, I, I advise you to come in this weekend before it's all yeah. gone. What time is that going to be t uh, tomorrow? Yeah, so the event starts at 9 a.m. Okay. and then it goes to 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, it's normal business Saturday hours. Um, you know, it might roll over past two. Yeah. Who knows? You know, like you said, going to have some cooking demonstrations. Yeah, and yeah. Some we'll have some things. some live broadcasting, uh, some door prizes uh, that you can uh, come in and register for, uh, and then yeah, all all these demonstrations. I mean, we have. I mean, I can't tell you, it's a ton of food. You, yeah. know, you just have to come out and see it, but yeah. it'll be a good time. And it's free, you know, you don't have to pay nothing. We're, it's our gift to the public and mm -hmm. you know, it'll mm -hmm. be a really good time. And uh, they're located on Pass Road in Gulfport. Where the, remember where the old Colonial Bakery used to be? It's right across the street, can't miss it, big sign. No, no you Compton's, can't miss it. Uh, appliances and we've been We've been at that location for almost 40 years, so. I know, yep. I know. I used to have a photography studio on the yep, top floor. on the top there, floor, but, yeah. yeah. I sure remember. did, sure did. But, uh, but anyway, so if you're planning a kitchen, or if you're planning to build a home, uh, this is one of the most important decisions that you have to make is uh, planning out that kitchen, the yep. layout and everything of it. Uh, one of the main focal points of a house. Exactly. It is one of the main focal points because that's one of the things that I'm always looking at. You know, if I, uh, looking for a home, I said, I want to see the kitchen first. That's right. You know, yeah. And, uh, and, and that's pretty much it. But again, it, um, you know, whether you're you know, building from the ground up. Uh, or if it's uh, you know a remodel or something like that, you want to be sure you have everything um, in order and all your specs and everything done correctly with uh, with your uh, builder or remodeler or whatever, and especially 
with the appliance. Yes. And of course, Compton's appliance, they will definitely take we'll care of you. We'll get you taken care there of. There you go. Matt, Thank always you, a Mr. pleasure Jim. to see always. you. Always. We'll Thank see you, you very again much. soon. Uh, again, uh, if you, you have any questions, you can uh, check out uh, uh, on Expert Alert, and you can, of course, go by uh, Compton's Appliances on Pass Road. Don't forget about the special open house tomorrow from 9 till 2. And we will see you another time on our next edition of Expert Alert. If you have a question for any of our experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert. For a list of any of our upcoming experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert.